are you sick of getting email that you didn't ask for? Well, today we're chatting with Tom Geller from the SpamCon Foundation, and he's got five tips to share on how you can too, you too can fight junk email. Tom, thank you so much for fighting the good fight. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And for anybody who's been living in a cave for the past five years, can we quickly define what spam is? Well, it's not as easy a question as you might think, because some people think, oh, if it's porn, then it's spam, or if it's a, a business offer, it's spam. But I define it pretty simply. It's just unsolicited email. If you don't know who the person is, and you don't know why you're getting it, and you didn't ask for it, it's spam. Okay. So what's the wackiest spam you've ever heard of or seen? I got one a couple of weeks ago that was somebody who, who the, the spam started out saying, do you hate spam? We do too. Buy our product. And of course, this was advertised <laughs> by spam. You know, I've also gotten spam in Turkish, a language of which I don't speak a word. No. You know, uh, I got a spam, you know, in the middle of all this porn and sex and business and stuff, it was, come and buy our trivets, put them underneath your teapot. And it was just <laughs> in context, it was really funny. Well, uh, you know, that, it sounds more funny than anything else. Is, it, is spam really that harmful? Well, at first you might think, oh yeah, you could just delete, but when you add up all the spam that's going to all those people, you end up with, uh, with a lot of money. The European Union came out with a study that estimated it at 8 billion euros Whoa. a year. That's about 10 billion dollars a year. And there have been other estimates which say um, about 7 dollars per user per year and so forth. It's a large problem. Yeah, I guess. Now, you don't believe that people can actually stamp it out entirely, is that correct? Well. I think it's something a wise person once said, there will always be poor among us, and there will always be the stupid among us, and always be the criminal-minded among us. <laughs> That's true. So I don't think we're going to stamp it out entirely. What we can do is we can marginalize the people who are sending spam, and by and large, that's what's happening. The people who are sending spam, for the most part now, are career criminals. That's why you get so many porn spams and so many casino okay. spams, because the ordinary business people are out of it, for the most part. And what about filters, though? I mean, are they helpful in any way? You can use filters, and they might cut down on the spam you get, but the spam load keeps increasing, and in the long run, you're not really doing much to help the Internet as a whole. So I do suggest other things as well as filters. As a matter of fact, you got five tips on how I people can tips. fight spam. Number one... Number one is to learn how spam works. Okay. That is, uh, when you see that it's from so-and-so at hotmail.com or whatever, don't just assume that that's the person who sent it. You have to learn how to track down headers and so forth, and I can show you how to do that. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's the second point, actually, is learn how to track them down. Not only exactly how spam costs you money and how it's costing you your privacy and such, but learn how to track them down. I do have a site. Sure, I yeah, I can go point ahead. We love websites around here. Well, here we have samspade.org, and it's just as you imagine, it's samspade.org. And if you... Uh, what was... Was he a detective? Sam, was it Sam Spade was in the Dashiell Hammett? I, you probably know more. Someone said, Falcon. someone said yes in the studio, yeah. so, uh, so I'll take their word for it. Um, if you type in a domain name here, let's just try Tech TV. Let's just pretend Oops. that Tech TV... Uh, Boy. Not that they ever would. Oh, do you. stuff. You press the do stuff button. See, that's what we do around here. We just do stuff. <laughs> this is perfect for people like me. See, so now this, this here will tell you that uh, Tech TV goes to this particular machine. That's an IP you, address. That's an IP address, okay. right? What's called a quad dotted address because it has those four numbers separated by dots. Okay, makes uh, sense. It goes down and tells you who is the person responsible. Uh, for maintaining that, so that if you get a spam and it looks like it came from techtv.com, then you can write to that person and say, what's happening? Is there somebody on your network, you know, causing us this problem? Not, of course, that that would ever happen. No, not Tech at TV. Tech TV. We do not believe in spam. <laughs> Good. So, now, you're, you're talking about taking steps. You're reacting a little effectively instead of just blasting something out to anybody you right. can. You're talking about taking a, a little more uh, precaut precautive that's not even a word, is it? Per Precautionary? Precautionary. Percussive. Percussive. You want to hit them really hard. <laughs> Some, yeah, there you go. But you're talking about, you know, acting with a civil mind in doing right, this. Right, right. And we, we put together something for the SpamCon Foundation, uh, which explains some of the ways that you can eff uh, effectively react. Number one is if you think you might know the person, write to them and say, why are you sending me this? Now, usually with spam, that doesn't happen. It's somebody you don't know. So you look, if it's, say, child porn spam, you might want to report that. There are agencies that follow that. Um, going on, you might want to contact the sender's internet service provider. This is where Sam Spade comes in. Okay. You can figure out who it is and then get them kicked off of their own ISP. Beautiful. Yeah. And finally, for a lot of the spammers who are, remember, professional criminals, good at hiding who they are and where they're coming from, you can initiate legal action against them. And we have resources on spamcon.org. And this is your nonprofit site where it's kind of a community of people who are all fighting spam. That's right. Okay. That's just right. making sure we clarify that. You've got one more point, uh, and that is to, for people to join. Oh, 
Well, it's a joint SpamCon foundation, of course. <laughs> but actually, since you mentioned the community, um, there are discussion lists available. Oh. Uh, so that if you want to find out like about spam law, just take a look and you go to the spamcon.org site, click down here where it says discussions, and it brings you to your, this page and you see SpamCon law. And there you get all the archives Perfect. and description of it. Amazing. You know, I wonder what's uh, going on with our poll. We had a question today. Allie, how, how are the numbers looking today? Uh, interesting. It's actually coming out 83% in favor of um, uh, spam is the worst type of junk mail. So I guess it sort of reflects our techie audience. Go figure. You know, I, spam is just evil. But Tom is not. Tom, thank you again. Thank you for having me on. Always a again. pleasure. The SpamCon Foundation, spamcon.org. That's correct. Is where you can find more information about fighting spam. And, of course, you can always check out Tom's article on our website, techtv.com slash call for help.